Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of Motorsport Manager Mobile 2 Career Mode. So we're starting off a brand new season here today. Slightly bottled it last season, definitely felt we should have got promoted that year, but that's my bad, just wasn't quite good enough as the season progressed. Let's quickly sign up a new sponsor. Awesome stuff, still over a million per race. Wow, that's a lot of money going down the drain. Let's have a quick look at other drivers available here. I mean, we did look last time I remember correctly, and... I don't think anyone was interested, actually. Yeah, look, nobody that's actually decent is going to be wanting to... Oh, look at this guy. One and a half star, but four star potential. I mean, I don't think we could probably... Because we've got someone in their contract as well. So, it's going to be a tough one to... This season's going to be tough, I think. But I'm hoping we can, uh, we can do the deed and finish at the top of the standings this year. If we don't, that would be embarrassing. So let's jump into the first race of the season, Tondela. Um, I think we should we should do well here today. But the thing is, Garuda have signed up two good drivers, so that is going to be very tough to uh, to come out on top. But let's go optimistic. First position bonus. So we need to definitely perform. Rafael Rodriguez, of course, you guys, if you played the PC game, he's a bit of a legend. He's been slightly nerfed for the mobile game, but nonetheless, that makes him a perfect driver for tier three. So. Setup time. I can't remember what it's like. So let's just go. Let's go opposing strategies and see what comes out on top. Three times speed. I'm always amazed at how good this game looks. I mean, I'm playing it on, I'd say, a pretty decent phone, but still, it does look incredibly good and it runs so well. So I'm happy to have played just a tiny part of the, you know, part of this game. Obviously, did the trailer. So if you guys haven't seen the official trailer for this game, or you've, you know, looked on the app stores, all of those videos, I've got something to do with. So. I'm really happy with that, and um, yeah, awesome stuff. Right, Rodriguez and Milton both not setting that good lap times. Rodriguez was okay. I saw someone going purple there at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so Rodriguez's setup wasn't too shabs, so let's go out again. But let's go corner and acceleration with Milton here. I think her problem this is she's going to be the one that drags us down. Rodriguez is probably equal best, if not best, driver on the grid. So it's going to be very tough to... Uh, it's going to be very tough to beat him, but at the end of the day, I do feel we've got a good chance. Right. Oh, Rodriguez only... Okay, Milton's doing good in the first sector. Second sector. Good. Around the last sector. What could this be? P4. So we get Rodriguez. Oh, no, because it's going to start raining. No. Oh, no. Damn it. I've mistimed this. I've. We're going to send Rodriguez out anyway to get him on that setup. But I think that is the better setup, cornering and acceleration, which is really annoying. But they're going to go out, and it's going to start raining. So that's sort of the session over, which is a little bit gutting. Um, not that far off pole, though. Maury on pole. Good stuff. Valdez in second. Johnston in third. Where is Enrique Lara? P11. That's quite disappointing, to be fair. She's normally one of the best drivers after a couple of seasons, at least. Whoa, like 11 seconds off in the first sector. Let's just bring him in. Of course, it's raining and we're on dry tyres, so I don't know what I really expected. Right, pit lane, good stuff. Just get get some guys in the, the end of the session. None of them are going to go quicker. Right. Well done to Garuda Racing and getting um, getting Lorenzo on pole, one of the guys at the office. He's on pole position for the first race of the season for Garuda. Rachel as well works at the office. P6 for Predator as well. Predator's not one of the best teams, so fair play to her to do that. Oh, what? I'm 19th. I'm terrible. It's going to be quite funny to see how good I actually do. You know, obviously, I'm in the game. For the, I'm, I'm a free agent, but for some reason, ZRT Autosport signed me up. Right, okay, then. We definitely need to perform in this, and we're starting in the intermediate conditions, which is interesting. Uh, it looks pretty damn dry, so I assume it's going to start raining ASAP. Rain in four minutes. Hmm, okay, could have been quicker to start on the dries there. Actually, I'll tell you what, we're going to... Oh, you can't really conserve on the first few laps, otherwise you do lose positions. See, Milton's... Oh, Milton's spun. Great. We needed to be doing good for this championship. Yes, I'm up to P15, lads. Rachel's got the fastest lap of the race. We've started to fall down the field a bit with um, Rodriguez. But look how much our tyres have digged. 30% in a lap and a half. Are you serious? Like, it probably would have been better to start on the dries. I'm not kidding. That 
that probably wouldn't have been the best option all right let's just push with these guys now it started to rain um i don't think we're going to be able to eke out oh that's the thing we could could we eke out a whole could we eke out eight more minutes i don't think we will i'll tell you what whoa drive throughs all over the shop brooklova's got one it says seven minutes there but we can probably get back on dry tires pretty damn quickly. I'll stop pushing actually. I want to make sure we get onto those drives at the optimal time. Rodriguez is up to P6, but we're now 13 seconds behind John Stadier. Right, someone's in the pits. They're, they're starting to put the soft tires on, which is seems a lap early. Let's go this lap. And does it is it going to rain for the rest of this race? I don't think so. So let's go. Let's go, just go the hard tyres, just to make sure we've got all possibilities checked. It's going to be a bit of stacking in the pits, which is a little bit annoying. Everyone's gone on to soft tyres, which is interesting. We've got out the pit lane in P2 and P4. It doesn't look like it's going to rain again from my little map, so maybe we've... Flat spotting already, but yeah, my aim is that I'm not going to have to pit again whilst the rest of these guys are. It's just, am I going to be quick enough on these tyres? Rodriguez is out in P2. I'm not sure how long I've pitched up. 12 minutes. Okay, so we can we can push on these tyres. The thing is, our 46 and 47%. Hmm. 10 minutes until it's going to start raining again. I don't know whether we've got that. Now, yeah, okay, it's going to go back to winter. So we can push on these tyres. It might have been better to go on the soft, actually. It's just, the AI has all that information whilst we don't, which is a tad annoying for me as the manager. We're going to have to stop pushing Milton, otherwise she's not going to be able to get to the end of the race. 29%. Valdez got the... Wait, who got the fastest lap? Valdez pipped me to the fastest lap there. Damn it. Right, so it's about who's going to go to the Inters at the right time. I could even go full wets, to be fair. That's, it's jumped up significantly. Right, already people jump into the pit lane for Inters, so some people are risking it and going early for Inters. I mean, hmm. It's like it's not raining for like another decent amount, so I think we'll split the strategies. Milton's going to come in, and Rodriguez is going to go out for another lap. I think that's fair. No, not. Sorry, I keep thinking continue. I'm pausing it. Right, he's in the pit lane. John Sadir, we should gain a decent amount on this lap. Let's see. You are pulling out a big amount, so Rodriguez should be able to come in. Put to be fair, it's going to go full wets, but we probably can just about. Right, hopefully we've played a bit of a master stroke here. We've gained a lot of time. Is it going to come out the pit lane? Yeah, good stuff. Right, we come out the pit lane six seconds ahead, and we're going to be P5 with uh, Milton, I think, by the end of this race. Just got to make sure we get both cars to the finish. Both of them not looking in too great condition. Three laps remaining, though. I mean, I'm just going to conserve Rodriguez a bit here. Make sure he gets to the finish. And if he comes within three seconds, I'll start backing him up to speed again. Well, we've got loads of extra fuel here. Loads of extra fuel with you as well. We can try and burn through that. 6% with Milton. Oh, going to have to go and conserve. It's a tad annoying. Rodriguez, right, let's go, it's only one lap, hopefully you can fend them off, it's within three seconds, oh, I'm going to turn it back up, that's come very close, oh my goodness, it's gone really close all of a sudden, 17%, you'd hope that he can get to the end of the race on that, let's push, there's two cars out there, what are they doing, luckily they're not going to get in the way, it's going to be a win in the first race of the season, Rodriguez wins, Milton's going to finish P6, I think, unless she gets no. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. And I think, looking at the standings, we've got the best team results there. A bit spread out, but Afro Motorsport with a pretty solid first race of the season. Not the best in terms of uh, reliability, I'll tell you that, but a good win to start off the season. But John Stadier was coming at us like crazy at the end of that race. But we, we timed that pit stop right. They all went in a lap early, but we managed to time it right, which is the most important thing. So, let's get ready for the next race, race number two of the season. So, if you guys could let me know in the comment section how many of these videos per week you'd like to see. That would be really cool. So then I know uh, how much you know how much to record for the whole week. 
Oh, interesting in um, Tier 2. Bauer Spryker not doing quite as well as McNeil first time out. Or second time out, I suppose you'd say. Um, quite close, actually. Who else is in that? Who else is in the tier? Will isn't in it just yet. In the zone, Rafael Rodriguez. That means a hot streak, doesn't it? Oh, okay, so improvement points. Whoa, current potential, they're all at zero. Great. I can't remember which one of these was decent. Um, are they all having interview, online scam? Oh, dear. I really don't know which one to pick, so let's just go with the middle one. It's generally best to keep picking the same person each time, because then you get a bit of a beast by the end of the season. Right, let's try and uh, oh, approach this person, actually. It's quite a decent performance impact, too, though. Well, this one's not that good. Um, yeah, so let's go with that one, Chili Steel. The performance impact pretty poor, but at the end of the day, mm, not bad in general. All right, 14k signing on fee. We've still got millions upon millions to play with. So I think we'll start upgrading our HQ here. Let's unlock that sixth sponsor slot. I think that's a good that's a good one to go with. Get some basically to get that money back straight away. We've got an improvement point as well. I just skipped over for Raphael. What do we go with? Overtaking seems pretty poor right now, so let's improve that. He's starting to get near his peak or near his max potential to four stars. Wow. The G's play sport themselves. One point two million for three races. I'll snap that up. Thank you very much, lads. Right, okay then. Car. Let's try and get something a little bit more reliable. Six million for a rear wing, though. This rear wing looks pretty tempting. I think we'll go with that. 1.5 mil. It improves that reliability, which is important. Right, so what do we go with Rodriguez? It's got a slight potential. Sorry, slight performance, but then the worst reliability. So let's go with that. Missing out on five, uh, five reliability. That front wing's looking pretty terrible, actually. Let's just go and build that. That's the thing we can build, isn't it? So let's go with that. I think let's go with that. Decent enough, um, decent enough reliability then. Good stuff. Oh, okay. Let's just go with that. Race day performance plus two. It's only 500k. I'm just splashing out the money right now. Right, so second race of the episode, Black Sea, Russia. So... This is a tricky track. Which one do we go with? I think we'll go with... <laughs> I'm not going to go. I'm going to not risk this one. I'm going to go fifth or above. Because we risked it last time and we lost that whole bunch in quality, of course. So let's try and not make that same mistake. Hopefully we'll get some some decent sponsors if we start doing good as well. And start improving our you know marketability as well. So I think acceleration and cornering once again. But let's split the strategies as we normally do just to make sure. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to, you don't want to go them both out in the same strategy, and they, you know they both be bad. You basically just wasted a lot of time there. So, generally best to send them out on two different setups, unless you know the setups, of course. Maury's going fast. This in the first sector. Go on, Lorenzo. Have we pipped him? No. Twelve thousands. Rodriguez off. Twelve hundreds, I should say. Right, Rodriguez seems to be on a pretty decent setup though. Let's put Milton out on that same one. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Um, anyway, another lap. Looks like there's going to be no rain this session, which is the most important thing. We don't want another repeat of that. We're in the top five, though, which is going to be our sponsor objective, which is good. Rodriguez, green in the first sector, only white in the middle sector. Milton's going to go P13. Ugh. Oh, Rodriguez coming into the pit lane. What's, what is his setup? Cornering and neutral. Okay. Cornering and neutral. Right. We might be able to get two more runs in here, but most likely just one. So let's just get out there and see what we can do. Milton. I would like to say, but the thing is, it's so tight. The top 15 in three quarters of a second. Fair play. Rodriguez still doesn't improve. Milton surely does. No. Right, we might have to get one more last lap in here. Just absolutely spam him out of the pit lane there. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck in traffic. That would be a bad thing. 
Right, if, if Milton starts this far down, we're going to have to try an alternative strategy with her, because that is not a good quality of whatsoever. It's not that bad in terms of pace, but it's just very far off. Rodriguez purple in the middle sector. Can he master the last sector? Yes, he can. He's put it on pole with a 57.8. Awesome stuff, and Milton just can't match it. Nearly a second off. It is quite worrying that she's that far off, and they're basically the same star rating. But then again, Rodriguez is now on a hot streak, which is pretty awesome for him. So, yeah, big gap between our two teammates, and we might have to start thinking, you know, if she starts, keeps underperforming, we're going to have to think about replacing her, because it's just not acceptable. Right, Rodriguez, good stuff. Right, race stay then. We're going to keep her on the soft tyres, and we'll push, we'll have to push her, and we'll push Rodriguez as well on these first couple of laps, but he's already lost a bunch of positions. What is he doing? What is he playing at? Back up to P3, behind the two Eastwood cars, I'd like to say. The green cars, I think they're Eastwood. Rodriguez, right, we're gonna, we can't push him for too long because he's only got 63% reliability. Milton's up to P8, though, into the top 10, which is good. Uh, let's put her back to neutral. Rodriguez set the fastest lap of the race, though, on the second lap, though. So it's kind of a focus on him. Can he keep up with the leader? No, he's starting to drop back again into the clutches of his teammate Valdez. And Valdez is through. Or, um, it looks like Eastwood probably are the team to beat this season in terms of raw pace. Milton's in the top 10, but just disappointingly slow right now. It's going to be no rain in this race. So let's have a quick look here. What can these tyres do? 14 laps. So we should be able to just go on to a set of... Oh, okay. We might as well take advantage of this safety car. Thing is, are people Lara's crashed? Are any, you know, is anyone else gonna appear? Well, I'm gonna keep Rodriguez out, but Milton's gonna come in. This could be a nice little free pit stop here. Oh, other people are pitting. Okay, so interesting. She's come out in P11. Enrique Lara, as I said, one of the good drivers, but for Gruda, that's a big, big blow. Lorenzo's up there in P4, but. Oh, and he's pitted as well. That's a strange turn of events. Why did they pit there, not the first lap? Strange. But this is really good for us. We've saved a lot of fuel. And also, saved a bit of tyre life as well. But Milton's in a very good position right now. Oh, a mistake. Someone's got like, crashed on the... What are they, what are they playing at? Um, let's burn a bit of fuel in. Right, we're going to push Rodriguez into the lead. Okay, so somebody that was leading did an interesting strategy call there. Right, good stuff. Exactly what we need, Mr. Rodriguez. So we're not going to quite be able to put him onto the the, the medium tyres. Milton's currently net leading this race, then booked over as well. Soft tyres... Right, good stuff. Out of the pit lane. P15, though. Only 41% car condition as well. Right. Rodriguez struggling. Is gaining the position. Oh my goodness, Milton's absolutely bombing the fuel. I just didn't realise that. Hopefully she can make that up. Come on, Rodriguez. Milton's got a class lead right now. The thing is, Rodriguez is going to struggle, I think. Rodriguez is slightly struggling to gain the positions. I mean, one, two, th three, four baby cars in front. He's already ahead of one of them. So, Vainan and Johnston here, I think he can get past, but... He's sort of the front of a queue, or is another yellow flag here? Someone else. Oh, I've crashed! No! My own driver's crashed. What a noob. Right, so. We're in a pretty good position. Milton's pulling away from Buklova. Lorenzo actually did a good strategy call there. I thought he made a, a silly strategy call coming in, but it sort of worked. It's got him ahead of Rodriguez, but. We're starting to struggle with these tyres, I'm starting to realise here. Are we going to be able to get round the last five laps? Another yellow flag. It's Dreyfus this time. Someone else is in the pit lane. I'm starting to feel we're not going to be able to get to the end on these tyres unless we conserve. I think other people are going to... Yeah, look, they've decided to come into the pits. 
Interesting strategy call there. Could this be either a 1 2 or a massive fail? I mean, Buklova's come out 20 seconds behind, but how much time is she going to be able to gain? Is Mori in pit lane? No. Rodriguez is closing, though. 14% car condition. Right, we're going to have to back him down. But he's. he's oh, okay, so Moore is in pit lane. Lorenzo's in pit lane. So it's a 1 2 right now, but Buklova is coming at us really quickly, but it's two laps remaining. It is two laps remaining. Is that going to be enough? I can see uh, right there, last lap of this race. She's absolutely flying. Um, let's put it into that mode there to try and keep her behind. To be fair, Milton's going to win this race. <laughs> oh, Milton's going to win this race after all the bad things I said about the start of this race. She's going to pick up a victory. Totally unexpected, but very well done. Awesome to see. A 1-2 for Afro Motorsport. I don't know if that's the first time, but it's definitely good that it's happened right now. So, yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I want to try and get these videos up quite regularly alongside the MotoGP other career mode, which I still haven't recorded. Um, hopefully, that's going to cut tomorrow, so don't worry about that, guys. But, um, yeah, interested to see how the series is going to go now, now, guys. That's maximum points for us in that one. Two wins on the trot, three podiums in total. Really excited to see how the season is going to go. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have an epic day, guys. Remember to leave a like on the video, enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.